following on from rounding to the nearest multiple of 10, this video looks at rounding to the nearest multiple of 100, and it works in much the same way. Just remembering that multiples of 100 need to have a zero in the 1's place value column and the 10's place value column. Remember that multiples of 1000 are also multiples of 100. As long as there's a zero in the 1's and in the 100's, then it's a multiple of 100. We're going to round 140 to the nearest 100. You can see where 140 is on the line. And we have the multiples of 100 either side of 140. That's 100 and 200. And you can see that 140 is nearer to 100 than it is to 200. So when we round 140 to the nearest 100, it's 100. Rounding 660 to the nearest 100. 660 on the line, the hundreds either side are 600 and 700. And you can see that 660 is much nearer to 700 than it is to 600. So when we round 660 to the nearest 100, that's 700. 850 is the same distance away from 800 and 900. And this works just like the 5 when you're rounding to the nearest multiple of 10. The rule is that you round up. So 850 rounds up to 900. This time we're rounding 980 to the nearest 100. And you can see that this time it's nearer to 1000. So don't forget that even though a thousand is a multiple of a thousand, it's also a multiple of a hundred. 980 rounded to the nearest hundred is 1000. Round 120 to the nearest hundred. Pause the video, have a go. There's 120 and you can see it's nearer to 100. 120 rounded to the nearest hundred is 100. Round 570 to the nearest 100. Pause the video, have a go. There's 570 and you can see it's nearer to 600 than it is to 500. 570 rounded to the nearest hundred is 600. 250 rounded to the nearest hundred. Pause the video, have a go. 250, it's an equal distance from 200 and 300, but the rule is we round up if it has 50. 250 rounded to the nearest multiple of 100 is 300. 950 rounded to the nearest 100. Pause the video, have a go. 950 is the same distance from 900 and 1000, but the rule is we round it up. 950 rounded to the nearest 100 is 1000.